A Lincoln County mother is searching for answers weeks after her son's death. Tonight, she's asking the community for help as she tries to find closure. Fox 56 reporter Jace Obarto has the details. My son was a kind and gentle soul. and He did not deserve to die this violent death. Through her grief, Lorley Yoakum is demanding answers after the unexpected death of her son, 28-year-old Clay Wooten. On November the 2nd, he was admitted to UK after he had a mental episode. He had a mental breakdown. And he was in the psych ward where he was restrained, medicated. There was three guards at the door. And... Um, we were told that they were going to send him on to Eastern State. But instead, for an unknown reason, she says her son was moved to a less secure part of the hospital. On November 3rd, in broad daylight, in a hospital gown and with no shoes on, he escaped and ran toward the train tracks here on Transcript Avenue, right across the street from UK Hospital. His mother says it wasn't more than 20 minutes until UK police picked him up. Brought Clay back to the hospital in a pickup truck, and he was unconscious, he had black eyes, and fatal head wounds that he later died of. Wooten was an organ donor and was officially pronounced dead the next day. Must be. In a statement to Fox 56, UK Hospital confirmed that police responded to the incident, saying in part that the hospital is limited on what they could talk about out of respect for the family. Now, Yoakum is pleading with the community to help get her some answers. Look at your ring cameras, if there are any apartment buildings, construction sites that might have uh, footage of this area from November the 3rd. Please go back and, and review that because I know that Someone knows what happened to my son. A GoFundMe has been set up to help pay for medical and legal expenses. But this grieving mother says she won't rest until she gets justice for Clay. I know that someone has information. And um, we're just going to keep asking questions until we get those answers. He loved his family. He loved us all. And we loved him. Jace Obardo, Fox 56 News. You can find the link to the Justice for Clay GoFundMe in this story on our website, fox56news.com.